while the entire world is watching Burmese pythons devastating the Florida Everglades, a new invasive predator is quietly spreading across the state. And this time, mammals aren't the primary targets. This invader came from South America, and it has a very specific preference, reptiles, American alligators, American crocodiles, native turtles. No reptile is safe, but the scariest part, most people don't even know it's there. Until now. In 2013, scientists from the University of Florida made a disturbing discovery. Camera traps installed to monitor crocodilian nests started recording something unexpected. Images showed an unknown predator invading American alligator nests. Day after day, this invader returned. And with each visit, more eggs disappeared. In less than a week, entire nests were completely empty. But it didn't stop there. Cameras at American crocodile nests, and even more threatened species, also captured the same invader. 50 images. 50 documented invasions. And here's the detail that alarmed scientists. This predator wasn't just eating eggs opportunistically. It was specifically hunting reptile nests. As if it had an internal GPS to locate exactly where crocodilians buried their eggs. Gopher tortoises, a keystone species in Florida ecosystems, also started appearing as victims. Their nests systematically raided. Hatchlings devoured before they could even be born. The most disturbing part? This invader can swim. It can dig. It can move quickly on both land and water. And it's reproducing. Fast. While Burmese pythons took decades to establish massive populations, this new predator is already present in 40 counties across Florida. And the numbers keep growing. Researchers published alarming studies. The title of one makes the severity clear. Nest predators of crocodilians and turtles in Florida. But what exactly is this predator? And why does it represent such a unique threat? Before revealing the identity of this mysterious invader, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on the most current threats to wildlife, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Now let's discover who this predator is. The invader is the Argentine black and white tegu, Tupanambus mirianae. And it might not look as scary as a 20-foot python, but its impact on Florida ecosystems could be equally devastating. This lizard can grow up to 5 feet long and weigh over 15 pounds. Native to Argentina, Paraguay, and Brazil, it arrived in Florida as an exotic pet. And as happens with so many invaders, irresponsible owners released them into the wild when they realized they could no longer care for them. But here's what makes Tegu so dangerous. They are specialists at finding buried eggs. The scientific study led by Dr. Frank Mazzotti from the University of Florida, published in 2014 in the journal Biological Invasions, documented this behavior for the first time. The camera trap images are shocking, a tegu emerging from an alligator nest with an alligator egg in its mouth. Between August 12th and 18th of a particular year, cameras recorded two tegus stealing up to two eggs per day from a single alligator nest until the nest was completely empty. Zero eggs. Zero chances for reproduction. And it's not just American alligators. American crocodiles, already struggling to recover as a threatened species, also have their nests invaded. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission confirmed multiple documented cases. But the impact goes far beyond crocodilians. Gopher tortoises, sea turtles that nest on Florida beaches, and even ground-nesting birds are in the sights of lizards. And here's what makes the situation even more concerning. Unlike pythons, which need decades to reach reproductive size, tegus reproduce quickly. A female can lay up to 35 eggs per year. And they're adaptable, able to survive in virtually any Florida habitat. So what's the current situation with tegus in Florida? The news isn't encouraging. 
There are currently four established breeding populations in Hillsborough slash Polk, Miami-Dade, Charlotte, and St. Lucie counties. But sightings have been reported in 40 counties across the state as of 2024. St. Lucie County, especially west of Fort Pierce, has emerged as a true hotspot. More than 1,500 tegus were captured in this region alone through March 2025. Since the first tegus were reported about a decade ago, more than 6,000 have been removed from Miami-Dade County. And these official numbers don't even include tegus removed by private hunters, some of whom report capturing over 400 tegus in a single year. There's a small light at the end of the tunnel since 2019. Capture numbers have started declining in some areas. With the same trapping effort, scientists are catching fewer tegus, which could indicate localized population reduction. But before we celebrate, there's a much bigger problem on the horizon. A study published in July 2025 revealed alarming climate projections. With global warming, suitable habitat for Argentine tegus will increase by 11%. And it's not just Argentine tegus. Now there are also gold tegus and red tegus established in Florida. And these species could expand even more with climate change. Under current climate conditions, tegus have the potential to occupy most ecoregions of the continental United States. Imagine tegus spreading throughout the American Southeast, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Louisiana, Texas. And this is already beginning. Tegus have been sighted as far north as North Carolina and as far west as California. A breeding population has been confirmed in Georgia. So what's being done? Since April 2021, Florida banned the sale and breeding of tegus. Those who already own them must register and microchip them. All commercial breeding must cease by 2024. These are important measures but they may have come too late. Scientists at the University of Florida are developing smart traps equipped with artificial intelligence in Fort Pierce, hoping this technology will help suppress established populations. And there's a curious positive side. Some of Florida's native animals are starting to fight back. Bobcats have been documented hunting tegus. Adult alligators eat tegus. Even cottonmouth snakes are preying on young tegus. It's nature trying to adapt. But the reality is that tegus are here to stay. And as long as they keep reproducing, the nests of alligators, crocodiles, turtles, and birds will remain under attack. The future of native reptile reproduction in Florida is at stake. The story of tegus in Florida is yet another brutal lesson about the exotic pet trade and the devastating consequences of releasing them into the wild. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss upcoming content about biological invaders and conservation. And don't forget to watch the video I left on the end screen, you'll be surprised. See you next time.